This is a video tour of 2544 Cimarron. And just a quick view of the front. Um, you've got a vinyl siding on the front here. It's a 3D composition roof. And from what I can see, the roof looks like it's in pretty good condition, but of course there's a lot of snow. So most of it's covered. There are a couple sections at the edging of the roof where you can see a little bit of right there, um, just rot and things. Lots of big mature trees. And here is just a quick view of the neighborhood. Okay, so I'm um, headed up to the front door. And, you know, you've got this little porch here on the side with a little bit of cover. Um, over here under the eave, you can see that there is some mold growth happening inside the boards there. Um, I mean, it is external boards, but just something to be aware of. Okay, so walking into the house itself. So you come into the house and you enter in the living room. So the living room is a pretty good size, popcorn ceilings. Um, and as you know, the property is selling in as is, I'm sorry, I need to put my gloves on. It's really cold. Um, and as is condition. Okay, so as we stand here in the living room, there are several places that have cracks in this house. Um, there's lots of settling that has occurred here. So a um, little crack above the window there, above the door, above the closet, a couple different places there. Um, when you open up this coat closet, there is a bit of an issue going on here. So this is all what appears to be some sort of microbial growth. Um, it is kind of a strange place being in the coat closet, but this is on the back side of the washer and dryer room. And so it looks like the pipe probably <clears throat> had some issues previously. And that's how that mold developed or microbial growth. I don't think it's actually been tested. Um, okay. So looping around here to my right brings you into, I think what was meant to be the dining room um, and into the kitchen. So again, you've just got, you know, some sort of little cracks forming in the ceiling. Um, there are several places in the house where they've cut into the wall to get to piping and things like that and just kind of like put the sheetrock cover back on. Um, one of the bigger issues in this house though is this pretty large crack. So this crack is under the tile in the kitchen. And you can see, I mean, it's a pretty large crack here, but it becomes really obviously an issue when we walk into the washer and dryer room. So standing in here, this is that same crack. And this, again, is running inside the house proper, right? I mean, that's a really large crack. That's my hand against it. You can see how big that is. Um, and then this corner, there's actually just like a solid hole that I can stick my entire finger in and I'm not hitting anything. So that's all one deep crack there. Okay. Um, another settling crack there. And then here is the backside of that closet with, you know, what I assume was some kind of plumbing issue and then some more microbial growth here. Okay. So going into the garage, um, pretty standard two-car garage doing garage stuff here. Um, you do see some cracking again in the ceiling here. And here is that crack that was running through the washer and dryer room as it heads through the garage. And I want to point out that it looks like they put something inside here at some point, like tried to fill it a little bit maybe. But that crack runs the entirety of this space. And right now, you know, they've got boxes sitting against it, but yeah, that's the crack we're looking at. Okay, so as I loop around here, um, you do have a little butt out in the garage for storage. So here's evidence of another sheetrock thing that they took out and kind of taped back to. Um, here is a dryer vent that looks straight outside right now. So there's 
just cold air coming directly into this garage. And then another hole here for what would be the dryer vent. So it looks like they ran the dryer vent, I mean, like through that wall and just ran the pipe directly through here previously. So attic access. And if you look carefully, um, you can see that there's actually daylight showing in that attic. I mean, I'm looking directly into the attic, so that's all daylight, which means that there's quite a bit of ceiling that probably needs to go on up there as well. And again, it looks like, oh, that might just be dirt. I can't tell if that's dirt or a little bit more microbial potential growth. Hard to say. Okay. Excuse me for sniffling. It is very cold today. Okay. So back inside the house and turning to look into the kitchen, older sort of peel and stick kind of tiling going on here. You can see that it's stripping up in some places, but here's a view of the kitchen for mica countertops in here. And I mean, the kitchen's held on pretty well. You've got a good amount of storage on this side. Um, little evidence of a crack there in the corner of the kitchen that they've tried to patch and it's just kind of recracked through. You've got metal windows in this home and it looks like they are single pane. Okay, since we're at this back door, I'm gonna go ahead and hop outside. Again, I apologize for kind of the gaps in me talking as I'm taking gloves on and off. Um, okay, so backyard. One of the benefits of this property is it's got a pretty good yard to it. So walking out here, again, you can get a close-up of the vinyl siding. And there is some rot going on in the corner underneath that eave. The siding looks pretty good overall. It could use a power wash. There are a couple places with, you know, little bits of damage, but nothing too bad. There are extra sheets of this vinyl siding down here. So I don't know if that got pulled off somewhere else. Um, but this allows you to see the foundation. And this is a really big deal. If you look here, you can see this huge separation crack between the corner of the house and the foundation there. And this crack is so significant, again, that I can actually stick my hand inside of it. Okay. So, here is a view of the yard. Lots of big mature trees. This house would definitely be um, a candidate for a sewer camera, for sure. Back of the house, you can see here that the vent headed to the attic has been pushed apart in several directions, which means there were probably critters in that attic at some point, and I would say larger ones depend um, based on the level of that bending. Um, with critters in the attic, and I don't know that they're currently there or not, I would say there's the potential for fecal matter inside the attic that might need to be cleaned out. Um, okay. So um, here is more evidence of that big crack that's running through the house. So you can see that it's running clear through the outside and they tried to seal it that way too. So this whole rug is covering this big crack that then runs into the house. Oh, it is real cold today. Okay. So back inside the property now, and we are going to walk back towards the living room and take a left, which is going to bring us down the hallway. Little coat closet here before you enter the hallway. Um, big crack here in the ceiling that has actually displaced the sheetrock. So if you come from this side, you can see like the sheetrock has fallen down and like separated from that other piece of sheetrock entirely. It looks like, again, they tried to patch it in some way, but that didn't really work. Um, okay, bathroom. Here is the bathroom. And you walk in and they've got this little kind of vanity thing on one side. You can see where they did some sort of hole patch there. Um, bathroom. Okay, 
second vanity and it looks like you got some rust in the sink basin there and they cut into the wall behind the toilet as well the other thing i want to point out which is kind of hard to tell in the video is that toilet is very small it's very very short um so just an interesting little sidebar there okay so walking out of this bathroom turning to my left again which for reference as we head down the hallway we're headed towards the back of the house um, you do have a little bit of a closet there, some more cracking evidence. Okay. And then turning to my right, another settling crack is bedroom number one. And here's the view of bedroom number one, not a bad size room, just some more, um, cracking evidence. And then around the property, there are evidence, there's evidence of like fire, which you can see here on the wall. And I really think it appears to be from maybe like candles or things like that, just because of the way it's placed. Um, but it does look like, I mean, that's, you can see like where the flame might have been there. Okay. So back into the hallway, another little crack there. Now around the corner here is the furnace and water heater. And Furnace and water heater look pretty good overall. I mean, the water heater is definitely older. Okay. And then this is the very back room and this window looks out into the backyard for reference. So you've got electrical panel in this room as well as I believe main water shot off valve right there. So panning this room. And the interesting thing about this room is they turned this closet into like a bar. So you can see that they've got this mirrored back on it and this little door closes. So there's storage underneath the bar, um, but they used a good chunk of, you know, the closet to do that. Well, in the ceiling here, I'm not sure what for. And then another hole here where they clearly were trying to get at some piping. And this is going to be really, I don't know if I can get a good picture of that, but this looks like it's got a little bit of water damage on it on the bottom side too. Okay. Okay. Walking out of this room, we're going to turn to the left, which is going to bring us into the master bedroom. And the master bedroom is a pretty decent size. Um, you've got some pretty good cracks here too as well. And you can see that one. And you can see that they tried to patch several of them at some point, and they've just recracked through here. So here is another view of the master bedroom from the corner. Carpet could definitely use replacing. It definitely needs some paint. I mean, cosmetically, there's quite a bit to be done here, but then structurally, with the cracking and the mold um, and the white in the attic, you've definitely got some other bigger ticket things going on here as well. Good size closet, step in closet here. Okay. And then we're gonna just loop around this corner and you can see the bathroom here. So same vanity as in the other bathroom. You've got vinyl flooring in here. And it looks like the bathtub, I mean, they might have tried to patch her on the bathtub at some point. I say that because you can see how much newer the paint looks around the edge of the bathtub. And it looks like they tried to do kind of some wood putty stuff, or not wood putty. Um, oh my gosh, I'm drawing a blank right now. Well, they tried to fix the cracks here with mud. There we go. Okay, with mudding. Okay. So there's a hole here in the wall as you get close to it. It looks like it might be a little bit microbial in nature as well. It also looks like this toilet leaked at some point. You can see evidence on the floor there, but also specifically the evidence on the side of this vanity. You can see where the water got sucked up there by the vanity. Okay. And then another little crack above that door. Okay. So that is it. Let us know what you think.